good news for those people who have an animal and who are from God and who truly believe in the Word of God and also I have bad news but also this bad news is for the skeptics who believe that you cannot have animals in heaven and it's good news for you today uh, I, I commemorate this for my cat which I lost and only the Lord will give it to me if he wishes and I dearly miss as I love animals and I think that you know I think that God can do whatever he wants and there's not one verse in the Bible where it says that animals uh, don't go anywhere else that we don't know about so today we're going to start with this verse and you're going to see uh, the whole topic. Psalms 36, 6. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains, thy judgments are a great deep. O Lord, thou pre preserve man and beast. The problem is that if, you say, if God is saying that thou pre uh, preserve man and beast, the word preserve actually is an attribute of Christ preserving something because only through Christ we can uh, God can preserve us as being one of his children so very strangely it doesn't say thou says man uh, it says man and beast now if you're taking this spiritually I can tell you the beast are the people who are don't believe that Jesus Christ is God but if you're taking this physically then we have a problem because that says thou preserve man and be beast so if you take that physically you're going to have a problem because that means that he preserves also animals too if you don't take that spiritual which we'll discuss Ecclesiastes 6.21 who knoweth the spirit of a man that goeth upward and the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth very strangely it says that the man has a spirit well it can only be a holy spirit because man has a soul so it's saying that who knoweth the spirit of a man this is this is Christ the holy spirit that uh, shows us things uh, wisdom that goeth upward and the spirit of the beast goeth downward to the earth again if you're taking this physically then animals have a spirit and if you're taking this spiritually, then I'm telling you, this spirit is a lying spirit, and that's why it goes downward to the, to the earth, because the beasts are people who don't believe in Christ. 1 Corinthians 15.44 It is a shown of a natural body. It is raised as a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a natural, uh, there's a natural body, and there's a natural, there is a natural body. Uh, I kind of got confused here, sorry. But the word natural here actually is, is ref in Latin means animal. So there's an animal body and there is a natural body. So it's a very strange concept and animal and nature are uh, equal to the same thing in Latin. It's translated different in Latin than it is in English. But we're going to continue the next verse. Mark uh, 15, 16. Go ye unto all the world and preach... Uh, the gospel to every creature if we're taking this physically I can tell you that he's gonna preach this to every creature if you take this spiritually then it's the creatures are the ones who are in Christ the ones who are new creatures born again in Christ so again you cannot say that animals cannot go to heaven or hell because if the Bible has been spiritually it's not speaking about them continue and actually, if it's physical, if you believe it's physical, then animals do go to heaven. Um, let's see. Mark 9, 48 is where Christ is. Where their warm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. So again, we see that where, the war, where the warm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched, which means that this is hell. So there's warmth in hell. That's an animal. You must consider that as being an animal. A worm is an animal and he's in hell. What is a worm doing in hell? Unless, if, if, this is, if, if, you're, if you're speaking physically, then there's war, then there's worms in, in hell. 
But if it's spiritually, then that means that the warm is, um, is actually the people who don't believe in Christ, who have this warmth that erodes their beliefs. So this is the spiritual meaning, and there's a physical meaning. Take it spiritual, and you cannot prove that animals go to heaven or not. Take it physical, and then I tell you that there's animals in heaven or hell. Job 39, 17. Because God hath deprived, uh, this is the ostrich, from wisdom, neither hath he uh, impaired to her understanding. But we gotta remember, this is not intelligence. No, 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 no. This is wisdom, and the wisdom is the Holy Spirit. Animals don't have the Holy Spirit. So if animals don't have the Holy Spirit, then they cannot have intelligence as well, because you grow. God gives you wisdom, and you grow on intelligence. That's what we we believe in Christ, and we were drinking milk, and now because we grow on intelligence through the wisdom that He gave us through the Holy Spirit. Now we're growing in intelligence and understanding more and more and more. So animals don't have the Holy Spirit. Quote, Isaiah 11, 6. The wolf also shall, shall dwell with the lamb, and the le uh, leopard uh, and the cheetah uh, leopard, shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them so a little child is going to is going to is going to is going to lead these animals the wolf uh, and also uh, shall also dwell with the lamb so the wolf and the lamb will be together so again we see here that in heaven if you take it physically there is a, um, there is a wolf and a lamb but you take this physic, uh, if you take this spiritually, that means that believers who were wolves inside and will be living with Christ. And as much as the, the lion, uh, the young lion and the cub shall live together because, because the young lion is that who, who's aggressive by nature and the cow is Christ again. So again, a representation of that. So if you're taking a spiritual, then then I can tell you that this has to do with something uh, with Christ. But if you're taking it physical, then there is animals in heaven. So again, if you're spiritual believing, then you cannot prove that animals go to heaven or not. If you're physical believing, uh, and you believe the Bible is physical, then animals go to uh, heaven and hell. That's the one we saw, and the lamb, and the wolf, and the cow. Continue reading here. Isaiah 11.7 uh, and the cow and the bear shall feed their young ones and shall uh, down together and the lion shall eat uh, straw like the ox. So it's given a representation of the new heaven and new earth. So the, the lion shall be eating straw like the ox. Again, I say I live in nine. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. This is heaven. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Christ, the, the, God told us in the Old Testament to Job that he did, did, not, got, did not give uh, knowledge to the ostrich and intelligence. But, it doesn't mean because he didn't give him knowledge and intelligence to the ostrich. Now, if these animals go to heaven, it doesn't mean they wouldn't receive the knowledge of the Lord in heaven. This is very important. So we got to watch out. Just because they receive, they don't receive the knowledge and intelligence of the Holy Spirit now, it doesn't mean that if God actually, if there's animals in heaven, they might not receive it then. So you cannot disprove that. Revelations 13, 2. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth and the mouth of a lion, uh, of, a, of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So this is another vision. So again, we see that he received visions. And these animals, if these are true animals, and it's not a representation of the spiritual sense, then that means that these animals are different than the ones that we see in our earth. They're different animals. So again, this is the whole point. The whole point is this. If you're telling me that animals cannot go to heaven, I can... 
First of all, if you take the Bible spiritual, which you are meant to be spiritual, because compare the spiritual with the spiritual, this is what Paul uh, taught us, then I can tell you that this is all a representation of us. But it doesn't say nothing about animals, so you cannot say animals will go to heaven. And if you believe the Bible is physical, then I can tell you that animals go to heaven. Now, you cannot mix physical with spiritual, because you cannot serve two masters. So if it's all meant to be spiritual, then you cannot disprove that animals go to heaven because, uh, because that's a work of God and he does not speak about it. He speaks about us. And the Bible is meant to be spiritual. So for animal lovers, do animals go to heaven? We don't know, but it's definitely not a no. So God bless you guys and thank you for watching this video.